everyone. This is Melissa Armel, and I'm reviewing here Foot Locker. Foot Locker was a great gap on Friday. Now, usually I look at longs, but I will look at the best gap. And to be honest with you, this was the best gap on Friday, which I did tell the room. Now, why? Why was this the best gap? Again, this was Friday. Market was closed Monday, Tuesday morning. Not really anything to do with this here, but I just want to show you why this was the best gap. Actually, let me just grab here where we opened. We opened at 52.37. So Foot Locker had earnings. Closed the night before at 46.39. Open here at 52.37. Now, this reported... Uh, it was Friday morning. Okay, so this was one that came out in the morning. Sometimes stocks report at night earnings. Sometimes they report in the morning. This was an earnings gap. Okay, and it reported Friday morning. It was the best gap. And this is something that I teach in a combination of the Golden Gap course and the Trends course. Why was I so in love with this? And, for, and again, I prefer to short rather than go long, but the reason is that Foot Locker was, okay, on Friday morning, something called a corrective gap. So this chart was in a downtrend. It was even in a downtrend in 2017. It fell, started off the year very poorly with a gap down that happened here. It was a great short. This was actually, that was about uh, two years ago or a year ago, 2017. 2016 stock was in an uptrend. Market was rallying here all last year. This was May earnings a year ago and stock fell, never looked back since. The stock literally from the previous earnings was up in the 70s and then at one point, again, this is last year, 2017 was in the 30s. So the stock lost more than 50% of its value in less than a year. And that is the power of the gap. Now it's turned around. The reason this was so powerful on Friday because Foot Locker then was, went from an immediate downtrend into an immediate uptrend. That is rare. We don't see gaps like this that often. Now it's not that there aren't plenty of days to play quality gaps. I'm still very picky. You still can't buy every gap up and you still can't short every gap down, but I am so good at determining the ones to do that with. But in this case here, this is even was even more special because it changed the trend in the chart. It's called a corrective gap. This is something that I teach in a combination of the trends class and the golden gap course. It was very, very powerful. This was an amazing long on Friday because of that reason, okay? This should follow through, would not trade this today. Market's down this morning, and also, what are you gonna do with this here after the bar that it had on Friday? Wouldn't day trade it. But long-term, Foot Locker is higher now. 60 is the next point, and that's in sight. This was a really nice gap. You could have day traded it all day long on Friday, several times, and you could be in it as a swing trade, or you could have done it as an option, um, and just been in and out on Friday. So, I wanna just show everyone also here what a gap is, for those of you that do not know. A gap is just the difference between the close and the open. Gaps can happen up or down, all right? But I'm looking for institutional money in a gap when I decide to play a gap or look at a gap or even watch for a setup in a gap to take it into the live day. Never trade in the pre-market, never trade in the post-market. Too dangerous, too wild. Not enough volume usually either. Look at this actually, look at the volume this morning, I'm surprised. Um, this could even fall through today, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go along this today. But anyways, um, a gap is the difference between the close and the open. So you see here now, this was the after hours on the previous night, Thursday night, and then the stock gapping up in the pre-market here in the morning. So the pre-market activity is where you see the gap. You can also look at it in your level two if you want. But for Foot Locker, where it closed and opened, this is a gap. Closed at one price here, open a different price. The gaps can be big, they can be small. We play gaps of all kinds, okay? I have to see that institutions are gonna come in and follow through the movement that the gap's happening, whether it's buying or selling. And that is what I teach in the Golden Gap class. It's the rating system. It's a 26 point rating system. Foot Locker was a great gap. I mean, just hands down, I said that in the room in the morning, this was a great gap. It even went farther than I thought. I mean, 55 was a normal target for this. 54, 55, this went up to 56. It went over 56. So it is important to find specific things to trade. Why? That's how you're gonna make money in the market. You don't need the market's directional bias to be read correctly then daily every day in order to get stuff. Lots of times things will get with the market, like Foot Locker's down today just because of the market overall, but the stock is still strong. You, you need to find specific things to trade. You need to find specific times to do them. A gap is the difference between the close and the open. Shocks and cap up and down. I prefer to look at shorts, but I'm picking on Foot Locker here because it was such a great call, such a great read. This, foot, this, this chart is now in an uptrend, and it collapsed last year during a very bullish time in the market. This thing is going to turn around. It has. 
So I like it as a long. I just wouldn't day trade it today. Friday was the day to do it. It was a huge, huge winner. And congratulations to everyone that did it. Great read I had on this chart. Great bullish gap. Every once in a while, we will look at longs. But Full Locker was the one for Friday. And, you know, again, the corrective gaps is something I teach in the combination of the Golden Gap course and the Trends course, but it's rare. But when you find one that switches trend, whether it makes it from an uptrend to a downtrend or a downtrend to an uptrend, they're so powerful. So, 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 so powerful. And you got to learn how to find them and spot them and play them because that's how you're going to make money in the market. So congratulations to everyone that did Foot Locker and great read by me. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the next class is June 9th and 10th for the month of June. And you can email me at melissa.thestockswoosh.com to sign up.